One of the things about living where I do here in Western Germany near the Rhine River is just having an abundance of historical sites literally everywhere you turn uh, from the Middle Ages, the 17th, 18th century, so on and so forth. But right here, about a mile and a half from my front door, we have a little Roman ruin. So to me, that is just so cool. I leave my house, go for a little walk, and less than two miles later, I'm right on top of a little Roman a house or a farm that was from the early for from the early second century AD um, and they just discovered this I believe it was in the 1950s and they they were digging it up they suspect the archaeologist suspects that it was only here for about 150 years that it was destroyed sometime around the the 70s in the third century AD so I guess it was about 150 years old but uh so take a look at this I mean I just think this is really cool just to be able to walk to this on a nice afternoon like we've got here got it they have the different rooms identified and you can look on the little legend which room or what these rooms are for they have this identified as room three and it's divided look how cool that stone is everything's all covered in moss it's been really wet and uh you know someone like myself who likes reading about history and discovering history it is so cool to have something from the Roman Empire right here, pretty much in your backyard, you know? Um, yeah, I just, I never get tired of this kind of stuff. And I'm sure, you know, my family gets really bored with it sometimes. And I guess I can understand that. But to me, it's just so cool. Here we got room seven got these steps. I wonder if these steps are original. I wonder if I'm going to walk down here. Maybe I'm not supposed to, but let's see. So now I'm going down and I don't know, some kind of a Roman cellar or something, I guess. And this was room seven. Maybe we'll see what room seven was for. Yeah, this is just, to me, this is so cool. Look at this, what a nice view is that. Yeah, if I was a Roman and I was looking for a place to build a build a house, I reckon this wouldn't be a bad spot. Got a nice view, nice forest. We saw a big old deer down there in that field when we were walking up here. Really cool, you think about, and whenever I come to a place like this, you know, that's a couple thousand years old, I really, I like to, I like to touch it and look at it and think, wow, you know, some human being was here, some person just like me, very much like me, was here 2,000 years ago and built this lived here, they had a family, you know, not so much different than us. And to me, that is what's so cool about history. All right. Thanks for joining. And I hope you enjoyed this little adventure in the forest of Rhineland Vaults. So I believe, I'm not 100% sure what this old rock wall is I don't think this is part of the Roman fortification I believe I would guess this is part of the old mining system that used to be back here but uh, whatever it's pretty cool it's old it's I don't think it's Roman Empire old but uh 
It's definitely a few hundred years old. At least I think it's a few hundred years old. Again, another part of what I believe to be part of the old mine here. Just look at this, this is so cool. Uh, cool stuff around every corner. You just gotta have your eyes open for it. We came over to the other side of the valley from where we live and we don't come over here that often. We, we spend most of the time over like on our side of the valley, but it sure is pretty over here. We came by these uh, Roman ruins and we hiked up here. There's an old, uh, old abandoned mine here and the birds are really active and all the wildlife it's just like almost like a a disney cartoon i guess the way the animals are all around we see them we've seen lots of deer and lots of sheep and the birds are just singing like crazy it's just really really pretty spectacular sometimes i really just take for granted and kind of forget how cool and how pretty this place is. Hope you enjoyed this little adventure that we had basically in my backyard to these Roman ruins. And if you liked this, you had a good time, you found it informative and entertaining, please be sure to subscribe, hit that like button and leave us a note. Tell us in the, in the comments, um, what's your experience with uh, visiting ancient Roman ruins or what history do you have in whatever part of the world you live in. So thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time. Be sure to join us.